say, can you see? That's all I got. Is that a line? Hey, Yo's Weekly. My name is Kaleo Kanahela McClay, and I play sitting volleyball in the Paralympics, and I'm on Team USA. Well, I was originally really excited to bring Duke with us. So, like, the goal was that my husband and Duke would be able to come to the games um, with me. But obviously, that's not going to happen. So, I think. I'm just excited. I think, um, one, it's like a big sacrifice to leave him for so long. Um, I think it's now we're going to be gone for about three weeks. Um, so it's just the longest I've been away from him. Um, but I'm really excited and I think it'll be fun for him to watch, especially like on the TV and um, on that stage. I think it'll be cool. So we have watched, I've watched the, um, the Rio game with him. And he's like understanding like mommy playing volleyball. And I think now he sort of sees it as that's what I like leave the house to go do. So he's like, mommy, are you going to volleyball? And so he always asks about it. So I think he's like starting to see more, especially with his like older brain. Um, but before the pandemic, he was actually like training with me in Hawaii because I was with him all the time. Um, and I was what we call a non-resident. So he was with me and training. And so he, he's kind of been along the journey and seen it play out. Um, but he hasn't been able to go to the gym at all or anything. So it's interesting like seeing him with it now because it's sort of at a distance um, where he was like very close with it. He's so athletic, it's crazy, but he's like very determined he's not gonna play volleyball. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why, but he just is stubborn about it. So his favorites are basketball and soccer, but he just overall is really athletic which to me isn't super surprising, just like knowing me and my sister, but my husband's pretty athletic too. Um, but yeah, it was funny. He went to soccer practice one day cause he's like in sort of soccer at a school. Um, and it was the first time he'd ever done it. And he came home and I was like, Duke, how was it? Did you have so much fun? And he was like, I didn't win. And I was like, oh no, like you got my, you got the Kanahele like competition, like has to win gene. And I was like, okay, it's fine. It's your first time playing. You've literally never done this before. But it was just funny to see him kind of have that part of me too. Cause you never know, especially with kids. Like, I mean, he looks like me, but I don't know like what he'll take from me. For me, at least, it's a lot of um, making sure I'm doing my job wherever I am. So like if I'm at home, I'm being a mom and being a parent. Um, but then also like any job, I'm, I'm leaving and making sure this gets taken care of and then leaving and taking care of this part of my life as well. Um, which it comes a little, becomes a little gray whenever we're like training and leaving for tournaments. But, but I really um, have tried to focus on being where I am. Um, so whether that's in the gym, whether that's at home, like really trying to be in the moment because life literally goes by so fast and the days fly by um, that if like I'm at home worrying about volleyball that I'm not spending time with Duke. And if I'm um, in the gym worrying about Duke, like I'm not doing what I need to do there. So really just doing the best to, to kind of be where I am and just, I think that helps balance it. Um, but yeah, I still get pretty gray a lot of the time because it is, it's life and parenthood and there's another mom on my team and, and we've kind of talked to our coaches about, for us, what makes us feel better about um, being able to take calls even if we're in the gym. Because mm -hmm. I mean, originally it's like, hey, don't be on your phone at practice, but right. kind of for us, it makes us feel better to be accessible, especially to our families. So yeah, it's kind of still learning as we go on. And I feel like every age has brought different challenges. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and I were living in Hawaii and I was having Duke fly with me to training camps while he was like one and two. Um, so that look, that stage looked a lot different than this stage looks like. Um, but I think kind of as time has gone on, just, just learning what the next stage is going to be. Yeah, I think I always heard like, parenthood's gonna change your life. And um, I think there's a lot of truth to that. But also I think it'll change your life as much as you allow it or you want it to. Um, so my husband and I, we really have tried to do our best to to be who we want to be and bring him along with us. Um, because it just, I think my mom really set in me like having goals and going for your goals and, and knowing what those are and 
despite circumstances, like head for your goals. Um, and I don't think even being a mom has to change that. Um, and a lot of people choose to, and that's completely fine. Um, but for me, I know the goals that I have, and um, I really want him to come along with us and me and my husband in whatever venture. So like we started our coffee bakery and mm -hmm. there were two months where he was literally sleeping on the couch at the shop so we could like get everything we needed to done. And it doesn't look like that anymore, but, but not being afraid basically to make the sacrifices to do what we want to do um, just because it'll change his, his routine or something like that. Um, so I just think bringing him along, I think one will teach him a lot about hard work um, and, and then also just being him being a part of it too. So actually after Rio, I like had a point in time where I just, I leaving Rio, I knew that volleyball wasn't gonna be forever for me. Um, and I think like becoming a mom and, and knowing that, I mean, as an athlete, kind of your time span is not very, not forever. And I knew that, um, but I kind of wanted to start playing with the idea of after volleyball, what would I want to do? Um, and something that I've always loved and I baked with my grandma and she used to make cookies and like she was the head like cookie decorator. Every family event she would have decorated cookies. Not necessarily the same as mine, but, yeah. but kind of along the same lines. And um, so I had like grown up baking and I loved it. But after Rio, I kind of wanted to, to have something that would be my own. So I started kind of looking into like what that would be, what that would look like. And I actually came ac across cookie decorating on YouTube and really just watched YouTube videos of um, how they did it and, and kind of different techniques and then developed a cookie recipe that I loved um, and started from there. So I started doing a few of my friends were getting married and so I did some of their cookies and it was so bad. And I'm like, I'm so thankful that they're like, oh, I love them. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, those are horrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but it's fun to kind of see where you started. But yeah, so that's kind of how I got into it. It was just after Rio, like wanting wanting to figure out what I was gonna do next. And then, um, so whenever I got started into cookies, I, I was also doing um, floral design with my now, one of my business partners. And she's a florist, she's been a florist for a long time. But, and so we had kind of talked about like, what if we did a bakery and a flower shop? Um, and then my husband and I moved to Hawaii. And so we were like, okay, well that's probably not gonna happen. And, um, but whenever we moved back, because my mom got sick, we um, we were like, we have to do it now. And my husband's super into coffee, so we were like, this is the perfect combination, like bakery, coffee, and flowers. So we put it together, and it's flower and flower, and yeah.